Hi guys, welcome to February. This is the Aries reading for singles, couples, and then um, the undefined relationship. So whether it's on again, off again, maybe you're in a polyamorous relationship, maybe you are with somebody who is married, uh, maybe it's not Facebook visual. So anyway, um, I'm going to start with couples, then I'm going to do singles, and then um the undefined at the end, and the timestamp will be in the description box below if you want to just skip to your section. But if you're in an undefined relationship, you'll probably want to start with, um, well, I guess you could start there, but you might pick up some good information from both the singles and the couples information if something just might resonate for you and make sense, okay? So here we go, Aries couples for February of 2019. Um, okay. So it's like in the recent past, you know, maybe last month, the beginning of this month, it's like things aren't moving or shifting in regards to um, your relationship. Like you're not really thinking about what it is that you want and things might be a little bit dramatic up until this current point. Um, right now, it seems like day-to-day -day routines, things like money are causing some sort of issues in your relationship and should those not be resolved... Uh, you might feel a little bit of just like, um, I was going to say disappointment, but it's more like dissatisfaction. Some of you might even feel some heartbreak. It might kind of lead to this uh, energy of a breakup. Now, that's not for everybody, but for somebody watching this video, that's coming through. And so if that's you, um, if that makes sense for you. What it's saying is you can't um, continue to just give and give and give to a situation hoping that it's going to change if that's not something that your partner is able to do. You have to kind of uh, tone back what you're giving energetically, um, what you're giving as far as like time, um, blah, blah, blah. And they're saying you might not feel very confident about this, but if you don't do that, you're going to continue to focus on what's wrong and what's broken instead of what's actually working for you, which makes it very difficult to recover from. If you and your partner can get on the same page about focusing on what is working in the relationship, that's a different story. Um, but if you're going to overgive and overgive and just keep you know, going hard at something, um, overextending yourself, not setting boundaries, not saying no, then that's the situation you're going to find yourself in. Now, for the rest of you, this is kind of a, um, it's less severe of an energy. What they say here is um, talking and communicating very openly and honestly, initiating conversations with your partner is very important, and shifting your mindset, feeling um it's like fake it till you make it, even if you're not feeling super confident about the way that things are going to move, shift, and change for the betterment of the relationship. Um, it's good to talk about things as though they are. You know, the more that you talk about how sure you are that things can work out, then or that things will get better, you know, that you can achieve a balance because things are just imbalanced in your relationship or in your life in general, which are fucking up your relationship. And so they're saying that um, if you talk about how these things are going to come into fold and how you're confident about that, then that actually does become your reality per the law of attraction. Now, what else do you need to know? Um, they're saying like a trip would do you well in your partnership if you could get away together, kind of just relax, decompress without those stressors. But for a lot of you, this is not something that you'd even be excited to try to plan right now. Um, they're saying that just that like deeper bond and connection doesn't feel like it's there for a lot of Aries watching this video. Now, like I said, this is a general reading. I can't give you a very precise reading for every single person. Um unless every single person had their own private reading, right? But in um, this is just the general vibe for most Aries that are coupled in February. So what is uh, the guidance in how to move through this? Now, for some of you, it's going to be different than others. For those of you who are in this situation of it's just like, okay, um, I just really don't see a resolution to this. I'm not even excited to try to fix it. Like whatever, like your hands are in the air. You're just surrendering. They're saying the faster that you can kind of just say, okay, this has run its course. You know, we've hit our rock bottom. This is it. It's time to split. 
the sooner you can jump ship and you already know this, um, the better it's going to be for you. But a lot of you are afraid to do that because of the practical reality of things, leases, money, living situations, kids, stuff like that, um, car insurance, phone bills. They're saying, but you have to really think more about how emotionally safe and secure you're going to feel when you're not dragging around this negative energy. Try to think about um, how those details can kind of just work themselves out once you remove yourself from the situation. Because a lot of you, it's going to feel like a big burden was lifted, where your happily ever after kind of exists, at least for like a moment. You'll have like more moments of bliss and contentment without all of that stress that this is causing for you. So you know, even if you just have to like go stay at your sister's or a friend's house for like a weekend, um, something because money is being controlled by your partner, like God forbid, but that is a form of abuse, um, that would be in your better interest. You're going to feel like a big burden kind of um, lifted so that when you have to come back, you can kind of work through things in order to create a better plan for yourself having had that time to recharge. Now for the rest of you, where it's not all that imminent, like it's not all that um, dramatic, what they're saying is slowly but surely, um, if you're able to show acts of love, so it's not saying, hey man, I love you, or hey lady, I love you. It's more um, in the things that you do. So, I mean, it could be buying gifts, but it's more like, um, you know, folding your partner's laundry as opposed to just throwing all of their crap in a corner even if you washed it and when you take it out of the dryer. Um, it's writing little love notes and just, you know, on a sticky note and just putting it on the... Um, the what is that thing the steering wheel I was gonna say the driving wheel the steering wheel of their car little things like that if you can start to implement those things then all of a sudden your partner is going to become a lot less judgmental and your sex life's going to get a lot better and as your sex life gets better this month then all of a sudden there's a lot more willingness to kind of move things forward in a way where your relationship grows instead of becoming stagnant. But like I said, it's a slower moving energy, so it will take some time, so don't give up. And, um, you know, don't become impatient and therefore irritable because it will take like a consistent amount of showing them something. Because it's kind of like, I'm sure a lot of you have been in this situation where, it's like, oh, okay, so I overstayed a relationship, and um, but I keep doing it because my partner keeps saying they're going to change, and then they change for a month, and they're starting to treat me the way I want to be treated, or you know, share the household responsibilities, or whatever that is, and then right after that, once they feel comfortable and we're back into the routine of the relationship again, which is not necessarily a healthy routine, things go right back to the way they were. And so this is why they're saying your partner might be feeling like that, like, oh, well, you're just romantic right now because you want A, B, C, because you want more sex, because you want more, want more of this, because you don't want to have to pay this mortgage on your own and you're afraid I'm going to leave, something like that. And it's like the more that you're able to consistently show them tiny acts of love, building that up over time throughout the month of February and starting into March, um, the better that things will go for you and the more trust that you're building actually. They're saying you might feel a little bit of apathy or sadness um, here and there throughout the month as you're doing that, but they're saying that everything happens for a reason and this little bump in the road in your relationship is actually for a greater purpose and it's to teach you how to show each other more love in the way that you the way that um, you best receive it. So learning about love languages, for example, is a good way to show each other love, reading that book together, things like that. Um, they're saying like, this is an opportunity for your relationship to become a lot more strong and to actually help you get through this period of time where things are imbalanced on the earthly plane in regards to like maybe not having a lot of money right now or maybe one of you um, all of a sudden got laid off or you're just working too much and there's like this imbalance here going on and this can be remedied a lot easier, a lot more quickly, um, should you guys learn how to show each other love in a very consistent but um, 
Yeah, in a very consistent way. But not just saying it. Because words mean shit sometimes, you know? It's like, oh, yeah, well, you say that, but what are you doing, right? And so it's finding tiny ways to do things for your partner that make them feel safe and secure. Because that's the issue. When things are out of balance, you have to think about, like, the um, chakra system in regards to, like, a Maslow's pyramid. So when things at the very bottom are basic needs... Um, our access to food, to housing, you know, whatever, um, having enough sleep even. When things are fucked up like that at the bottom, you can't get to this like third, fourth level where you're able to really express um, love and feel love. So your partner could be doing all sorts of amazing things for you and they're going to feel unappreciated because you're not able to fully and openly receive it when everything's out of whack. But when those things kind of start to stabilize and neutralize and come back into balance, all of a sudden your relationship is going to be like, wow, this is really good. We really bonded. We're a lot stronger as a couple and I really appreciate you a lot more. So that's um, not necessarily like the most romantic thing you ever want to hear for February. It does sound like it's a challenge, but, you know, oftentimes we have to, like forest fires happen, wildfires, to burn down these old trees so that new, fresh little baby trees can come up from the ground. Um, and they can't do that otherwise when they're covered in all of this, like, dead pine needle stuff. Like, dead needles? Like, is that really what you want to be buried under? No. Mm-mm. <laughs> so, you know, fire and drama and all of this stuff, it's it's often a good thing. So, anyway, try to focus on, like, yeah, change is hard, it's stressful, but it's leading to something new and better, okay? Now, for those of you who are single Aries, so um, looking at the recent history of being single, you might not be feeling really comfortable with that, or the people that you're meeting and going on dates with, you're just like, ugh. Like, okay, I don't want to be bored, so I don't want to be, like, too comfortable in a relationship, but at the same time, like, I really just don't see anything that I want to settle for right now. Um, but they're saying this month, if you are really able to kind of express uh, love to yourself. Other people are going to be attracted to that, and they're really going to hold the, hold you on this pedestal. This month, February, and moving into the beginning of March, a lot of people are admiring you. They might not be verbalizing that to you, but they're like really kind of holding you in high esteem. So it's a good month to attract a partner. Now the thing is, is you um, coupled Aries had this kind of dramatic energy. And so um, some of you guys have that also here in February where it's like old ideas and things have to kind of come apart so new better ones can be built in their place. But if this is in regards to how you see yourself, like if before you're kind of um, maybe you exude as a fire sign a lot of confidence and radiance, uh, but deep inside you don't truly like love yourself. You have a lot of doubts. You have a lot of fears. And this is why you project such confidence because if other people believe leave it and validate that for you and kind of hold you up here, then maybe hopefully you'll start to start, you know, you'll really start to love yourself and you'll believe it too. Um, that's not the case for all Aries, but for some of you, that is the case. And they're saying, well, this month it's more about kind of saying, okay, well, maybe that's the way it used to be, but actually now... I do kind of love myself. Like I'm indulging in like self-care. I'm working on my emotional health and all of these things. And so then the partners that you're able to attract are more genuine. And so if um, you're talking to people and all of a sudden they just start ghosting you, like understand that this month specifically, it's actually a super good thing because there just weren't the right person for you and there's no need to be upset. It's not a reflection of you. It could be because of them. It could be that all of a sudden they're like, oh, you know what? I've just decided I'm not ready ready to start dating, but I'm also not really ready to have these kinds of conversations and talk about it or explain it. Or maybe their ex showed up and it was like, ooh, I was really into you, but if I talk to you about this, um, then I'm going to feel really bad. I'm going to feel really guilty. I already know that I'm stupid for going back to a situation that didn't work for me before, so I'm just going to avoid it. You know, it's, it's not always about you, so just make sure that you remember that. 
No, as whoa, they're saying challenges this month are going to be reframing thought patterns such as the one that I just explained. You're going to want to think about things like other possibilities, not just jumping to an immediate conclusion about how somebody else thinks or what they feel. They say if you're able to do this, you this could be a very lucky month for a lot of areas in regards to love. Um, you'll attract like a very cuddly kind of relationship, like physically, it'll be very close, but at the same time, you'll have your own independence, which will be really, really great because you'll have your own interests and things that you wanna deal with. Now, they're saying though, this is not the case for all Aries singles. This is only the case should you be able to shift your mindset. Some of you have um, toxic thoughts and things like that going on here that need to be fixed it, fixed it, fixed, adapted, or changed, okay? So having a super open mind this month is really important. Now, for um, a lot of you, it's also challenging to get enough rest or to get enough quality rest. And this is really important because as you're sleeping, your spirit guides and stuff will heal you. You dump a lot of um, stuff from your brain, from your subconscious, your emotions as you're sleeping. And if you can't dump that baggage, you can't really walk through the world, um, you know, with that empress energy where everybody's attracted to it and everybody admires it. And it's just like really graceful and beautiful and funny and like, you know, sunshiny and wonderful. So sleep is a big area of focus for you. It'll be challenging this month to find that. And then also just to feel comfortable with your situation generally. Understanding that, you know, let's say that in your mind, you had this idea that by 35, you'd be married and you have kids and like, you know, you'd be at a certain point in your career or whatever, but your life didn't go as planned. Like, not all of those things happened. Okay, well, it doesn't mean that you failed. Like, if you can shift your mindset to say, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be right now, then that would be a very good thing for you and it would energetically put out the right signal to the right partner where you could get lucky this month and meet a forever type of person. Now, the situation is that, you know, let's say that somehow you're looking at other people's relationships or lives and this is where you're getting this idea of like, you know, per timeline where you're supposed to be. We actually don't know much about the relationship, right? Deep inside of it, it could be um, the type of re relationship that has a lot of abuse or something in it and you don't know because you're not in it. From the outside looking in, it looks beautiful, it looks great, it looks perfect, but thank God you're not in that. So being single is better than being in something fucking shitty that looks amazing, that if you were to leave it, other people would judge you because on the outside it looks am amazing, right? Like this was my situation before where other people would be like jealous all the time. They'd be like, how do you get your man to do all these nice things for you? Oh my gosh, I wish that my man talked about me the way that he talks about you, but he was manipulative as fuck. It was a very emotionally abusive relationship, but other people were jealous about it all the time. And I've had like friends, you know, um, whose boyfriends would say like, um, just so you know, my girlfriend bitched at me because I don't treat her the way that, you know, he does or whatever. So keep that one around, which was not a good thing for me because then it makes you feel stupid should you leave a situation that people don't really have the inner workings or understanding of, right? Like people judge you like, oh, what a fucking snob. Like, why'd she leave him? He's so nice to her. You know, whatever. I'm just saying this is the kind of situation or energy um, that we want to understand and kind of shift our mindset around because where you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be. You don't know what's going to happen in the future, but it could be something better than you even expected. Okay, now for those of you who are in undefined relationships, what's up, Aries? They're like, ooh, recently you've been thinking a lot about how you're feeling, and you've been a lot more nurturing of your emotions than you are typically. Sometimes you tend to just suppress them. Um, but right now this is creating an energy of defensiveness, okay? So not every everything that we feel, we really do feel it. But we don't always feel it for a rational reason. Okay, so if I'm feeling jealous, for example, that's really real and hard feeling for me to feel. However, just because I'm feeling it 
doesn't mean that my partner doesn't love me. It doesn't mean that my partner is cheating. It doesn't mean that they're inclined to cheat, right? It's like your feelings, yeah, they feel really real. They exist, but are they rational? Okay, and so that's where we're at right now. And so if somebody questions that, try not to be defensive, okay? Um, you might feel like they just don't understand you, unfortunately, this person that you're dealing with. Um, but you know what? This is not new news. You're just realizing it now. They might have never really fully understand you, understood you on a deep emotional level. Um, sometimes we confuse passion for love. Okay, so these are things that you want to be thinking about um, in the month of February. They're saying that um, this month, it's like not a good time to be talking a lot to this person that you're dealing with about things related to money, stability, um, job, time, how you're going to spend your time. But it is a, a good time to have conversations that are open um, and super, super honest this month in general, just not related to those sorts of things. Um, let's see. They say it's really going to be challenging for a lot of you in undefined relationships this month to feel super optimistic about the future. Oftentimes when we think about the future, about what's to come, we're worried, right? We're like, okay, well, what if this? And we're trying to prevent pain or disappointment, but we're not remembering that things can actually be really awesome and better than we expected. And so if you can shift your perspective and kind of think about those things, that would be good. They're saying a lot of you are kind of just like physically exhausted. Um, a lot of you are kind of feeling run down. So sleep is going to be very important. I don't remember if I mentioned that for you guys or for couples or singles, but focusing on your sleep is going to be very important. It's like you're getting to this point where you're just kind of like run down with stress and like burdens of things. And what they're saying here is it's like you're not quite yet through it. A lot of people quit things right before they get to the finish line, right before they get to the end. And they're like, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. You can get through this. Just make sure you get enough rest. And they're saying that... Um, you know, honoring your feelings, acknowledging them, saying like, okay, this is a real feeling, but is it rational, is going to be the best way for you to do that. You know, sometimes we just get like super stressed out and we freak out and we're like, oh my God, where is that coming from? That's kind of the energy of February a little bit for you in your relationships. They're saying, but a lot of this is because you've been overextending yourself. Okay, so if you can pull that back a little bit and give more to yourself, like in terms of having enough rest, for example, just different um, self-care kind of routines, that would be very good for you. Um, they're saying a lot of you are not open to help, suggestion, ideas, and some of you aren't even open to love. You're pushing it away. And they're saying these are things that we need to shift uh, because if we don't allow other people to help us, we're going to have a very difficult life. Um Everybody needs help at one time or another. And they're just saying, like, you're, part of you thinks that whatever it is you're hoping for in this situation is just never going to come to pass. But like I said, at least through the end of February, you might want to continue to try to give it a go, but just in a different way, um, not overextending. Because, as I also mentioned, people often give up right before they're about to get what they want. And so they're saying that... Um, if you can make sure that the way that you're communicating with the romantic people in your lives um, in very loving ways, it's not what you say, but how you say it. This will make a very big difference for you. And they say you can be very firm and assertive and say what you want. And you can even say no to things um, with love, you know? So let's, let's use an example here. Let's say you um, are with somebody and they say, hey, uh, I want to spend time with my friends again this weekend. And you're thinking like, what the fuck? This is three weekends in a row that you spent with your friends instead of me and you know I only have Saturdays off, right? So you could spaz out and you could say it that way uh, or you could say, I, I really love that your friends are important to you. 
I've been feeling like I need some more time from you this month. It would make me feel a lot better about my life, a lot more relaxed, a lot happier if you could schedule some time with me this weekend, if you could prioritize that. And then all of a sudden they're like, oh, okay. So now she's not, or he, not gender specific, not just being a bitch to like whine and complain and like it's not that he or she doesn't understand me and that my friends are important now it's like oh okay I didn't realize how important this was to you why you need it and that you still understand my side of it right and so now you're a lot more likely to get what you want so anyway, that's February. Hopefully things are going to be a lot more positive and joyful in March. Um, best of luck. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!